Hi everyone, so in this video we're going to be uh, talking about electricity. Now this is going to be a series of videos based on electricity, but the first one is going to be talking about the different types of circuits. So when we're talking about circuits, the first thing that we need to define is this concept of open versus closed circuits. So this is an example of an open circuit. Now the reason why we call it an open circuit is because we have a physical gap. So if we're looking at our circuit, we have our power supply, which is right here, our positive terminal and our negative terminal. And this right over here is our switch. So our switch controls if you have a flow of electrons going through the circuit. Now, if we look right here, we see that the switch is popped open. So there's actually a physical empty space gap between one part of the circuit and the other. And because you have this gap, no electrons can travel. So if you have an open circuit, you have no electrons traveling. So what does this look like in reality? Well, I'm going to show you the next picture is going to be the circuit. But instead of having a switch, which is this right here, and a light bulb, which is this symbol right here, Instead of having it in your diagram form, we're going to actually have a real image of a switch and a light bulb and what would be the product. So here we can see our uh, open circuit and because we have our switch in the open position, we have, as a result, no light. So again, this is an example of an open circuit. Now, the opposite of an open circuit is a closed circuit. And as you might guess, a closed circuit is when you have the switch in the closed position, which we're going to see on the next image. So here we have an image of a closed circuit. And as you can see right here in the switch, we actually see the switch in the closed position. So as a result, we actually have the complete circuit where we have, we're following the path of the electrons, Electrons leaving the battery, traveling, traveling, traveling. Oh, and it can go through the switch because there is a pathway. Electrons traveling, going through the light bulb. And then it goes back to the battery. So this, again, is an example of a closed circuit. So in the next picture, we're going to see the results. And as you can guess, the light bulb is going to turn on. And as you can see with the closed circuit, we have light. I hope that clarifies the difference between open and closed circuit. In the next video, we're going to be talking about the difference between a parallel circuit and a series circuit. Thanks for watching.